How's everything going? Quillin's here and we're here with another reaction video. Now today we're looking at Charlie D'Amelio. Now I wouldn't really usually do this on this channel, you see, but I've seen recently um, via YouTube that there's been some drama between her, Trisha Paytas and just the general TikTok community. Um, for a bit of backstory to this, as you can see, um, it says obviously that she was crying on live after losing followers, um, reacts to getting cancelled and Trisha Paytas. So, basically... She was cancelled pretty much. Um, it was something to do with eating some snails or something that a chef had given her. And um, people were saying that it was very disrespectful. But like, from my perspective at least, from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like she's in the wrong. It seems like they're just trying to, you know, bring her down, which obviously they have because she's lost, I think, about a million followers, something like that. But anyway, we're going to get into the video, which is about eight minutes long. The thing is, which makes it worse, is that she's 16 or 17. She's close to that age anyway. And there's literally grown people like Trisha Pater ripping into her just because she was a picky eater and she didn't want to eat the snails. Like, come on. make it seem like you were numbers or did not mean anything and I definitely tried to like just explain to James like dude that would be so cool to like hit one milestone after a year after hitting another milestone. She's getting you can see she's getting upset and stuff like People shouldn't have to feel like this. Like, TikTok's there just for the community. They make videos, like, obviously, in that context, you said that it'd be great to obviously hit the milestone of 100 million. Like, that. that's not... What's wrong with that? Like, you can you can say that. It's nothing wrong with it. It's not like she's, you know, saying, oh, yeah, forget the rest of them. Like, it's just saying, like, you know, it'd be good. It'd be good if she did, but obviously now after this, it doesn't seem like that's probably going to be possible, unfortunately. And that was obviously taken the wrong way, too, and I don't want you guys to think that I don't care or think that I think you guys are numbers. I was also extremely excited because I do have something really, really amazing that's going to help out a lot of people. Like, it's going to help you guys. That's why I was so excited. It's like a huge thing that I've been so excited to do and I really wanted to share it with you guys. That's why I was so excited I apologise for the bad video as well. This is the best I could get from the live. Um, so I didn't watch it. I had no idea of it, to be fair. Um, so this is the best video I can find, unfortunately. <laughs> what? Just clarifying, I was teasing when I commented on your feet. I know you went to dancing school and you training completely, so you get it. Okay. Okay, so from this point, we might as well skip a bit ahead, see when she gets to the Trisha Paytas bit. It's all just one huge misunderstanding, and, like, I'm sorry, but I think it's become completely blown out of proportion to where it's not even... She has a very good point there. Like, it's been blown out so much. Like, it's two little things. Obviously, you know, there's people out there who just want to nitpick with everything. But, like, it really is quite unfair, I know, that she's been treated like this, to be fair. Like, you know, Trisha Paytas, I, I'm not really keen on myself. I don't think many people are after the many things that have happened with her. But, you know, that's a, that's a totally different video. But, you know, hopefully we get sometime soon to her discussing Trisha Paytas. I don't know why it's done that. That is not intentional. Let me try and see if I can skip forward a bit. I just, you're not a very nice person. 
<laughs> that was probably the Trish Paytas bet. It's a fair point, very fair point. When I saw the TikTok video, which hopefully I'll show in some point of the video. So Charlie called me out on her live. Now Charlie is a minor, so I'm going to try and just handle this with literal kid gloves because she is a child and I understand that. It's concerning how her parents raised her and that she's hanging out with James Charles because now she has adopted James Charles mentality of the keep my name out of your mouth. She told me to stop talking about her and that she's been rude when she, that, that I've been rude when she's literally the most followed person on social media. That's what she signed up for. Um, and I haven't been rude. I've given constructive criticism uh, as far as this situation goes because I really do feel for her and I do think it is uh, her parents' poor raising that gave them the manners that they have and she lumped me in a category of people telling her to kill herself which I've never encouraged nor have I encouraged hate or anything I was always saying stuff with constructive criticism oh you know that it was very rude to just openly just say that about her and like you know I don't know why she had to get involved like you know anything she gets involved with it never ends well it was quite rude to be fair That's a very point, very good point from this guy here. The, obviously, the, he, the person said, Trisha is a hater. She has, says a lot about other influencers for clout. No one cares about her. It's very true. She's she's well known for that. And, like, you know, she doesn't like it when people go after her, but then she's doing this to, her, to Charlie, for example. Like, it just seems unfair. Well, anyway, I'm not going to go on for too long because this has already gone on long enough. But I wanted to put this video out here just for the fact to put my point across. Like, it just seems unfair that people are treating her like that just for two small things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe for more weepy content. So yeah, chaos for today. Bye.